Good morning students. Students, we are going to start chapter 9 data handling. In this chapter, we will discuss how to represent the collected information in tables and tally marks. So, let's start. Students, I have balloons of different colors. Now, let's see how many balloons are of same color. First, we see how many balloons are of blue color. One, two, three. Now, we see how many balloons are of yellow color. One, two, three, four, five. Five balloons are of yellow color. Now we see how many balloons are of red color. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six balloons. Now we see how many balloons are of green color? One, two, three, four. Four balloons are of green color. Let's make a chart of different colors of balloons. There are three balloons of blue color. Five balloons of yellow color, six balloons of red color, four balloons are of green color. Now students, I ask some questions to you later to this chart. Now tell how many yellow balloons are there. Look at the chart. There are five balloons of yellow color. So, the answer of this question is five balloons. Now, tell how many red balloons are there. Look at the chart. There are six balloons of red color. So, the answer of this question is six balloons. Next question is, which color has minimum number of balloons? Look at the chart. Blue color has only three balloons. So, the answer of this question is blue color. Next question is, which color has maximum number of balloons? Look at the chart. There are six balloons of red color. So, the answer of this question is red color. Next is, represent the different number of balloons by using tally marks. You have already learnt about tally marks in your previous class. We can classify the given data in set of fives by using tally marks. Now, we discuss Tally marks of different numbers. Now see, we represent 1 as 1 standing line. 2 as 1, 2, 2 standing lines. 3 as 1, 2, 3, 3 standing lines. We represent 4 as Four standing lines. We represent five as four standing line and placing one slanting line on it. We represent six as four standing line and placing one slanting line on it and one more standing line. Now we represent the different number of balloons by using tally marks. Students see. First is number 3. We represent number 3 as 1, 2, 3. 
three standing lines. Next is number five. We represent five as one, two, three, four. Four standing line and placing one slanting line on it. Next is number six. We represent number six as one, two, three, four. Four standing line, placing one slanting line on it and one more standing line. Next is number 4. We represent number 4 as 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 standing lines. Now it's time for homework. In your homework, you have to collect information about the favorite things of your friends and family members. And prepare a chart of this information and represent the data in tally marks. Thank you.